Icebreaker ships are a type of ship specifically designed to sail in waters covered by thick ice sheets. They are usually used for research, transportation, or military purposes in polar regions and Antarctica. This is because most of the Arctic region is covered in ice throughout the year, making it difficult for commercial ships to pass through. These icebreakers play an important role in opening up transportation routes through the Arctic Sea, paving the way for cargo ships and tankers to pass through the region. This allows for more efficient transportation of goods to different countries and reduces travel distances and shipping costs. Currently, there are four of Russia's most powerful icebreakers operating in the Arctic region, the Taimir, Figak, Yamal, and 50 Light Pobedi. Russia plans to build the world's most powerful icebreaker. The Lighter Icebreaker Project aims to make Russia a leader in maritime transportation and ensure year-round shipping along the northern sea lanes. It is important to need an Arctic fleet that can maintain the eastern transportation corridor for Russians. Because Russia needs a dedicated route to deliver hydrocarbons from the Yamal Peninsula to Asian markets, which are not affected by the sanctions policies of major countries. The Russian state's future plans for managing the Northern Sea Route are ambitious. By the year 2030, Russia must deliver at least 70 million tons of hydrocarbons per year to the growing markets of Southeast Asia. For this, gas tankers and carriers must constantly sail new routes. Currently, most of the cargo is transported via the Suez Canal from Europe. Although the Northern Sea Route is actually twice as short in distance, transportation speed is key. Commercially effective speeds are usually around 10 to 12 knots, or better if faster. The leader icebreaker is therefore an important component of being able to achieve these speeds. In addition, with modern gas tankers and carriers being so large, high latitude routes are also a concern. There, the ice can be very thick, up to 2.4 meters. The icebreaker leader is designed to deal with such extreme conditions with a displacement of 70,000 tons and two nuclear reactors with a capacity of 120 megawatts. The 400 reactor was specially built for the leader developed by OKBM Afrikantov of Novgorod. Its thermal power can reach 315 megawatts with each icebreaker equipped with two nuclear reactors. This makes the 400 RITM a new and more powerful type of icebreaker installation and can replace the need for the previous four reactors to obtain the same power. The operating principle of the reactor is quite simple and similar to the operating principle of a steam boiler. As a result of chemical reactions, thermal energy is generated such as heating water and will create steam. Steam is then made and can turn the turbines of the ship's power generator. The output power of each turbine generator is 33 megawatts and the generator voltage is 10.5 kilovolts. The total power capacity is 150 megawatts. In Russian shipbuilding, no other power station can reach such a level. Because of its enormous power, the icebreaker is equipped with four electric propellers, each with 30 megawatts of power. On this icebreaker, for the first time in the history of icebreaker construction, four electric propellers were used. Previously, only three propeller motors were used because the output power of the propellers had reached 120 megawatts. Engineers had to overcome various challenges related to the energy conversion of these high-power propellers. In addition, they also needed to adjust the diameter of the propeller, which is much larger than that of previous icebreakers. All the large and complex technical equipment ultimately affects the size of the ship. The lighter icebreaker will be the largest nuclear-powered icebreaker in the world, with a length of about 198 meters equivalent to two football fields and a height comparable to a high-rise building. The lighter icebreaker will also have a much greater width than all previous icebreakers. It is designed to open up lanes for other ships, with its hull width reaching 48.7 meters, while the width of its icebreaking area is about 45.7 meters. Thus, large vessels such as the Yamal Max, which currently exports gas from the north, will be able to move freely behind the icebreaker. 
The Kralif Scientific Research Center in St. Petersburg is where all Russian icebreakers are tested. In these scale tests, they carefully follow certain modeling criteria. The scale of the model is chosen based on the selection of a ready-made propeller and must match the size of a full-size propeller. Once these propellers were selected, they only started modeling the icebreaker hull. The research center was assisted by a five-axis tipping machine and grinder. It was then sent to one of the test ponds. In this case, an ice pond and cryogenic installation were used to break up the ice cover on the surface of the saltwater, with thicknesses from 1.2 centimeters to 10 centimeters. The ice cover on the pond was also modeled to an appropriate scale. Furthermore, the thickness and strength parameters of the ice are calculated. This time, tensile tests of the icebreaker model were conducted in a pond with working propellers. Through these tests, experts can evaluate the effectiveness of the hull design as well as the interaction between the propulsion system and the ice at hand. The icebreaker propellers must evenly break up large sheets of ice. It should allow cutting through margin areas with great safety. In practice, it is not uncommon for an icebreaker to be unable to pass through a difficult section of ice covered with large drifts. In addition, Russian scientists from the Primate Central Palintian Institute have managed to create an innovative, extremely strong braking alloy that is resistant to extremely low temperatures. But specific to the modern icebreaker fleet, the latest Artica icebreakers are equipped with propellers made of steel material. This innovative alloy will also be used in the construction of the lighter, allowing it to perform in the most difficult conditions. When they tested the lighter icebreaker, the first and foremost goal was to determine the maximum icebreaking capacity of the vessel. So the icebreaking capacity of the lighter is very high when compared to existing icebreakers in the world, which is about 4 meters. However, that is only at a speed of 2 notes. The main task of the icebreaker is to escort transportation ships along the northern sea route. For this, they had to perfect the hull design and select propellers capable of providing enormous thrust so that the icebreaker could operate optimally in waters covered in thick ice. Based on the results of the research, they have confirmed that the icebreaker is capable of moving at a speed of 12 knots. With this speed, the icebreaker is able to pass through difficult passages without having to reduce its speed. On the icebreaker leader, there are two powerful compressors that emit air underneath the icebreaker area. This is useful for reducing friction as air bubbles move along the hull of the icebreaker, creating a significant effect in improving the efficiency and ability of the vessel to break ice more effectively. This effect is beneficial when dealing with snow-covered ice, which is often the biggest challenge for icebreakers. Model tests were also conducted considering these conditions to determine the ship's speed under various conditions. This is the end of this episode. What do you think? Write your thoughts in the comments section. 